Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. Australia's Foreign Minister is heading to the Middle East in an effort to help secure an end to the war in Gaza. Penny Wong will visit Israel, the West Bank and the United Arab Emirates. Controversially, she'll also meet with Palestinian victims of settler violence, highlighting the growing concerns of Western governments over the expansion of Israeli settlements. Australia's own Princess Mary has become Queen Consort of Denmark, following the abdication of her mother-in-law, Queen Margrethe. Prince Frederick is the new king, while Tasmania's Mary has wowed in white in her first appearance as queen. At least one home has been lost as out of control Control bushfires continue to ravage parts of Perth's northeast. Residents in Bindoon have been forced to flee with whatever they could as firefighters moved in to battle the blaze. One resident says they had no choice but to leave their animals behind. We've shut everything up, we locked it all up and hopefully they, they fight the fire and it don't get there but the ambers and the, the smoke and all that's over the backyard. New South Wales Ambulance paramedics are thanking Surf Lifesavers for their swift actions in saving four Colombian tourists from a rip at a popular Sydney beach. Four Colombian nationals were swimming at Bronte Beach when they were swept out to sea. Inspector Ben Mori says they were all conscious and breathing by the time paramedics arrived, but they had ingested a lot of seawater. All four persons were transported to two different hospitals, uh, and my understanding is that they were transported in a stable condition. Revelations today, the Victorian government put its hand in its pocket to bail out Tennis Australia. Tennis Australia racked up $63 million in debt during the pandemic. And Donald Trump maintains a big lead over his Republican rivals ahead of the Iowa caucus. His support at 48%, while former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley has overtaken Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the latest polling. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, a scare for world number one Novak Djokovic at the Australian Open, pushed to four sets by 18-year-old Croatian qualifier Dino Prismic. No such concern for defending women's champ, though, with Arena Sabalenka dropping just one game in her clash with German teenager Ella Seidel. While Chris O'Connell is the first Aussie through to the second round of the Open, following a five-sets win over Christian Garan of Chile, two other Australians, Dane Sweeney and Adam Walter, went down in five Five setters. And in the Big Bash League, the Adelaide Strikers have fought back to beat the Sydney Thunder by nine wickets with 23 balls remaining. In entertainment news, Mean Girls the Musical has ruled the US box office, bringing in $32 million at the weekend. The movie, based on the Broadway show inspired by the 2004 movie with Tina Fey, brought in to update the storyline. And separate biopics are in the works for two music legends. Selena Gomez has been tipped to play Linda Ronstadt in a new movie, while Bruce Springsteen is working on a film based on the making of his 1982 album, Nebraska. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.